see if you're in the football on that kind of oblong like ball instead of the round ball um check out we have a really nice pyt drop in at five in about 13 minutes uh it's a majestic gold standard elements and contenders optic going down so if you're into that kind of thing here we go let's pull this up he got game question mark that's such a risky card because probably not uh Darius Garland Jabari Parker what's with the what's the peach tree is that like I don't get the basketball stuff and a Kobe white green prism there you go going out to the Chicago Bulls Austin Linderwell starting us off with a Kobe white green I don't know what these are going for these days but for now we're gonna get that up there One out of two, Curry. <laughs> he said one out of two. Taco Ball, Bagley, Markeith Morris, House, Malik Monk, and there's a Rudy Gay prism. So no news. It's the weekend. We haven't gotten any further along, but I'll tell you what I do see. A lot more states lax, and a lot more people saying they're ready to rule. I, I think we're going to have sports sooner than we think. I really do. Rajon Rondo, Anna Clyde, Drexler, and uh, I say NBA Jam, but Jam Masters. I will say that um, the NFL is putting their full schedule out this week, and there are no adjustments to it. They are, as of right now, still planning on starting on time. Quindary Weatherspoon, Abaka. There's a Taco Fall Green Prism Rookie, and a Pascal Sy uh This is one of those orange... Isn't it? Uh, that, listen, you can cheat on us for baseball. I mean, I'd rather you not for, you know, football, but I get it. You know, sometimes you can't get in. I, I get that. But baseball, you're welcome to. 
Baseball, I do it because you guys want me to, but I feel bad because I'm so bad at my baseball knowledge. Jalen Brown, Ricky Rubio, and a Jarrett Culver rookie. I'm sorry, you started. Yeah, what's up? Oh, no, sorry, you didn't have to make. Oh, I didn't even know you called. No, the CDC is saying that when we go back to school in the fall, desks need to be six feet apart. <laughs> How's that going to work out? I Wait. I don't even fucking have desks. Do you have, do you have, do have, you have. I have six tables in my room. Oh my gosh, you're going to have to buy all new desks. They got rid of all of them. That's, they won't go back. Uh, can you hang tight as soon as yeah. I'm done? I'll let you know. Thank you. Um, <laughs> my wife just came in. She teaches still. I taught for a while, for those of you, most of you know, but she still teaches. And she said that we taught at the same school. And our school, kind of one of the things I started pushing was tables instead of desks because that's just like co collaborative learning. The CDC just announced that any schools that go back in the fall need to have desks six feet apart. We don't have desks in our school anymore. All the teachers started using tables. And they're like right next to each other, and it's all shared uh, shared equipment. They share iPad chargers. They share they share pens. They share pencils. Everyone like, and like you work in small groups in schools now. It's not like where you all sit and it's whole group instruction. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Yeah, I guess so. It's a taco fall break. All right, here we go. Let's do the hanger box next. She didn't know I was live. She came down. Has any of your states heard anything about school starting? I've heard we're not going to start in the fall, but we're, we're, we're mostly concerned because, not concerned, but curious because my son is going into kindergarten. So we're trying to decide if we even want to send him, if it's going to be online, because we're not going to have our son start school online. We're just going to wait. Nah, they can't do that. They can't go from 24 to 12 because they have to get rid of teachers because school budgets are being cut by like 40%. They're going to have to get rid of dozens and dozens of teachers in every school district. They've already been told. School districts around here said there are going to be furloughs and people let go. Old school Larry Bird. There's a Julius Irving. Bruno Fernando rookie. Patrick Ewing. There's a Kobe White base rookie. Steph Curry. Jaron Jackson, Bajan Bogdanovich, Chris Paul, Willie Colley Stein, Sarik, Drew Holiday. There's a Markel Fultz Prism. I love the looks of these. They almost look like the checkerboard cards. Uh, really, John? That's interesting. Nazir Little, that, that's kind of where I'm about at. There we go for the Hawks. Cam Reddish, NBA debut. Cameron Johnson, rookie card, and a Pete Maravich, orange. Um, so in, when we got into prism, the hanger boxes seem to be the strongest out of all the, all the stuff with this so far, has anyone seen one product stronger than the other? To me, the best value out of the prism was the blasters out of optic. It was the hanger packs to me. I felt like the hanger packs provided the best deal. Um, for this, I haven't opened enough of it, but I'll tell you what. We opened that blaster yesterday and got nice stuff. We opened the we got stuff out of the cello packs yesterday too. Yeah, it's funny, Sky. I don't know. There's there's no money to build new schools. To build new schools. There's just there's nothing. Like that's not there. And not only that, like at lunchtime our kids gonna sit six feet apart at, It ain't happening. It ain't. I'll tell you. I'll tell you from a person who's been in schools for it was in schools for a decade. There's no way they may say they're going to do it, but there's no physical possibility. No, it can't happen. And, and instruct and go to specials. How are they gonna have gym class? Do they just no no gym class? Like they're just not gonna play gym. They're not gonna get to run around at all. No recess. No recess. Just sit in your desk six feet apart away from everyone for a five year old in kindergarten. Are you kidding me? There's no way. It won't happen. Those poor teachers. Woo! 
I I think so too, Josh. But at the same time, it can't happen just like that. Like they can't get built that quickly. And even if so, it still only provides enough schooling for a certain amount of kids. Yeah, I'm just gonna open this box. Again. Five minutes. That drop will. Uh, that football drop drops for football break drops. I thought that a while ago, Calkins, that like they've been pushing privatized education for a while. You know, there's a, a very popular saying in politics. It's never waste a good crisis. You're seeing that really play out. And like I said, I, I believe the I believe in the virus. I believe that it does. It is a real virus. You know, there's no arguing that. I think the numbers are very, very uh, kind of all over the place. Numbers keep bouncing around. But. I do think that they're not going to waste a good crisis. So Vince Carter Green going out to the Raptors' most tenured team. Kevin Porter. And Richardson for the Warriors. That's a Prism Jam Masters. Thomas Bryant Green. Nikhil Alexander-Walker. There's a Jarrett Allen Silver. Rui, NBA debut, October 23rd. And a Bruce Brown Green. We have the Claxton rookie, Kemba Walker, and John Wall. There's a Paul George will to win. Are all the will to wins like this? Shaq, Markel Fultz, and Eric Gordon. And there we go. A Cody Martin for the Hornets, Green Prism. Dylan Windler for the Cavs. Pascal Saikam, uh, Siakam, sorry, Siakam. Sean, I've learned. Uh, Sean Kemp, Jam Masters. And I'm just top loading all these because people asked me to last night. And DeAndre Hunter. What do you mean? Schools are done here for the year, too. They're talking about next year. They're talking about in the fall. Schools around the country, I heard, are not going back this year. For the most part, I know most states have decided they're not going back. So I know in Pennsylvania, they they said indefinitely, but... Um, there's, there's no return date. I think they actually officially canceled it for the year. Heard there's a lot of college students trying to get refunded on their year saying that their education was awful. Like they didn't get their the instruction that they needed to get their classes done, but they were still charged. And it's just an automatic pass fail. And that's fine. Like if for me in college, that would have been great. Like fine, just give me a pass. I don't care. Give me an A. But... Dude, if you're going for like, <laughs> I, I went for education. If you're going for like to be an engineer, like you can't get this that coursework online. That's like hands-on learning, getting in there, getting into your labs. Like you, what on earth could they have done to make that an adequate education at the collegiate level? Y'all are quiet today. You're welcome to change the topic. I just there's no basketball to talk about except for the fact that I can't watch another person argue over who's better, Jordan or Kobe. If I read one more post about it, I'm seriously gonna find a way to take down Facebook. Your first one on one. Your first in a while. It's been a while. Yeah, they do got it's it's so weird that like all these big shops can open up a small business can. I don't get that in Pennsylvania. There are so many good shops that are closed that are doing the same thing. Doesn't make sense. But I think that all retail's allowed to open up here soon. All right, good luck everybody. We got a Jackson Hayes rookie, James Harden, that's funny. Romeo Langford. Uh Thaddeus Young, LaMarcus Aldridge. There's a Kareem Abdul Jabbar. And a DeAndre Jordan. RJ Barrett, NBA debut. Terrence Davis. There's a Barkley, Harris, Onyek, Jamal Murray, Prism, and Jarrett Culver, rookie Prism. I think we'll get news within the next week and a half on what's going to actually happen with the NBA. I would say by next Sunday, 
we'll know if there's going to be any resemblance of an NBA season. I really do. A week from now, maybe, maybe, I mean, two weeks max, a decision has to be made. You can't go into June not knowing if they're going to play any games. I mean, so I think we'll hear within the next few days. Things are starting to speed up as, as far as decision making goes. Oops. I want to top load these. You say they're playing in Vegas? Yeah, I saw that in Disneyland was an offer too. Stephon Marbur Marbury, Darius Garland, Taco Fall, another one. Tyler Harrow, Gallinari, Bobby Portis, and there's a Dwayne Wade. What is on that? That drop should have just went, just dropped that football. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool to see it in Disneyland, and then if fans do open up, like all ages could get into that that kind of that direction where Vegas, I think, is a harder Jackson Hayes. But I don't think we'll see fans for a long time. D'Angelo Russell, and there's a Jimmy Butler, give and go green. For the heat. I mean, that'd be a way to jumpstart Vegas. I know casinos are like, I like they, they want to get back open, but I just think that that's the same as like a movie theater, a restaurant. How can you play table games, you know, poker and stuff, unless it's like digital. At least they have online gambling now. Carson Edwards, Scotty Pippen, Kendrick Nunn. DeMar DeRozan and a Matisse Thybul. Hello. Hello. Vince Carter, Jarrett Culver, Dragic, and Kyrie Irving. Come on, we need something. Last night we had like, I guess we were lucky last night. What did we have last night? Like four Jaws, two Zions, uh, two LeBrons, like nice LeBrons. Oh man, where is it at today? Pascal, Cobb and Galley. I think it's because you guys aren't talking to me. Isaiah Thomas. Forbes and will to win and be they must be all that color that will to win that fire in the background no Scott not not yet and honestly I was just saying Scott that it's just crazy last night I said is this how many like we opened those boxes and got all those jaws and and Zions and and LeBron's and now we're not seeing much of anything Jordan Poole Jarrett Culver Horton Tucker Bagley there's a Buddy Hill and a Russell Westbrook. Man, just like nothing after nothing. Here we go. What do we have coming? There's an R.J. Barrett base there. We've got a couple R.J. Barrett. There we go. How about a jaw going out to the Grizz? Finally, at least a jaw base. And Contavious Caldwell Pope and a Chris Paul Hollow. Finally, a jaw and a Barrett in the same pack there. A little something. Yeah, we had one auto last night out of the blasters where the auto came out of. That seems to be where we get the most autos. When it comes to retail basketball. Uh, 
All right, here we go. Wilt Chamberlain, Bull Bull, Tyler Harrow, Powell, Drummond, Wendell Carter, and there's a Pascal and an Abaca, Serge Abaca. I know, we, that's what we need. We need Prism to be lit. Litty box. All right, last box mojo. Come on, we got to get something here. All right, Prism coming up. Let's get it. All right, what we need is a little drop. All right, here it is. Where's the kaboom? There was supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom. Here we go. The earth-shattering kaboom in here. We'll open up one whole column here. Scott, how did you uh, grab a team in that football break? And if so, how's it looking? Is it... Look like it's slow fill, fast fill, medium fill. Trying to take a little break from the football stuff, Scott. Sticking to basketball for now. All right, here we go. There's a LeBron getting us started. What'd you say a LeBron base in this goes for? Grant Williams, Della Vadova Hollow, Al Horford Green. There's a DeAndre Hunter rookie and a Brandon Clark instant impact. Zion emergent. There's at least a little Zion action for you. Enough to get you your injury back. Dylan Windler rookie, Markeith Morris Hollow, Ty Jerome and Basley uh, instant impact. Alonzo Morning Hollow. DeAndre Jordan. There's a Magic Johnson Prism. We'll still top load that. That's cool. Scotty Pippen. Quindary Weatherspoon. And there's a Julius Randall Red Prism for the Pels. Tareem Prince Hollow. Here's going to be our auto. Let's see. Chris Dunn. And Zubak. What? We are not... Man, we used up all of our luck last night. That's going to go out to the Clippers. The Clippers is Josh Beard. And I was looking forward to like kind of trying to find some stuff because I this time I finally put up the list of uh, where people got drafted so I could compare. Man, it's hard to do that. Oh, it's like, like full already? All teams? I'm going to just stay, stay sleeved up here. Oops. Sorry, guys. I don't think we've ever been this quiet in a break. It's kind of like defeating when it happens like this. A blazing hat and shirt. I'll tell you what. You you get me to lose my first 10 pounds, Josh, and they're on me. Josh said I have three chins. He body shamed me. He said I have three chins, so I told him he's my now my online coach and personal trainer. Um, and Josh, when I get down my first 10 pounds, I got a shirt and a hat for you on me. So let's get it done. Yeah, that's the truth. Everyone is bored. That helps as far as fast fills go.
Nah, man. It's accountability. That's what you told me, right? You just call it as it is kind of thing. Let, let me know. Keep me honest. Make sure my woman still loves me. Cut back on salt and take laxatives. That sounds like a very painful way to do it. Ben Simmons, Enos Cantor. John Collins won't make that mistake again. Jackson Hayes and a Jarrett Culver, Emergent Prism. Amadou Diallo, Kawhi. Donovan Mitchell, Silver. There's a Bull Bull rookie and a Ty Jerome. We got a Kemba Walker, Bam Adebayo, Devin Booker, Thon Maker, and a James Harden hype. Alonzo Mourning. There's a Rui rookie. Nazir Little. Matthew Della Vadova, Jalen McDaniels, and a Brooke Lopez Red. Patrick Ewing and Demarcus Cousins. What's our hollow coming up? Give us something good. Shy Gilgis Alexander. There's an Isaiah Roby and a Victor Aladipo Green. Come on, give us something. Seth Curry. An RJ Barrett Green Prism, and that is going to do it. F you, B ball. B ball's rough, man, because, like, there's not autos. There's not a lot of numbered stuff in the retail. The retail stuff holds good car, but cards, but, man, that's rough. I'm sorry. It's not cheap either. Trust me, it's not cheap to buy it. Uh, I, that's what I mean. Like there, that's, You don't need a numbered card. A LeBron Silver. Garrett was asking. Do you see that, Garrett? A LeBron Silver. This, but of a prism. This goes for what, like 45 50 bucks. This card right here, 45 50 bucks. But if you get the silver, it goes for like 450 You can You can make bank on just one simple silver. You notice, Garrett, that I... Uh, um, Sleeve and top load a lot more in basketball because there's a lot more like even like ten twenty dollar value cards in it, um, as opposed to football where it's like the bigger hits you can get a, like you know your other hits but they don't ever sell near as well as basketball does. All right, guys, I'll do a recap here and then we will roll out. I got a chicken on football. I may do something else little tonight. Maybe we'll do like a pick one get get one kind of thing, or a single box random teams or something hobby. We'll check it out. Maybe we'll do a player break. Should I do an impeccable player break? Should we do it? Should we do it? Should we? Should we? Get out of this funk. All right, here we go. RJ Barrett. Jarrett Culver. Rui Achimori, rookie. LeBron James base. Magic Johnson prism. Zion emergent. Um, yeah, you do. Tyler Harrow, uh, NBA debut. Eric Pascal. John Morant, rookie, RJ Barrett, rookie, Silver Thibel, Harrow, rookie, Barrett, NBA debut, NBA Jam, or Jam Masters, DeAndre Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Vince Carter, Green, Prism, Jason Richardson, Jam Masters, Prism, Rui, uh, Cody Martin, Green, Jam Masters, Kemp, and Julius Irving, Kobe White, base rookie, Markel Fultz, Prism, Nazir Little, Orange, Cam Reddish, rookie, Cameron Johnson, in the Pigs, Taco Fall, Jarrett Culver, Taco Fall, Green, Prism, and Clyde Drexler Jam. Our best card of the whole break was probably this outside of that. Maybe LeBron was this Kobe White Green. Oh, uh, no. We got the job base. I forgot we got the job base, the Zion Emergent, this. And then the auto was I, Ivica Zubak. I don't know. I'm bringing something hot tonight. That's what I know. I'm bringing it. Be ready. We got we to gotta get out of the funk. Thank you guys for jumping in. Thank you to Chris for doing the draft. I don't know when we'll do another one of those. I think it's a lot of work for one person to take on but for a break. So we'll see. And hopefully I see you in football, guys. Deuces.